What's up, Eva by Rex Extreme Werewolf, and today I know you have already seen like two of my WWE videos, but the only reason why, well, first let me just say welcome back to Fortnite episode 31. Now, today I got something special to tell y'all. Like, you all remember that my 14th soul match winner was Raven, the Rebirth Raven, right? Well, guess what? I got another soul match winner, and he's standing right in front of you. Now, let's get into why. Why? Okay, here's the thing though. I played two matches. One is at Believer Beach, trying to get that emote. Duh. Emoting at a camera right here, so that I could try to get that reward with a kiss from DJ Bob. But apparently, I discovered that only Rift Tour quests unlock it. And that was a Googiemon quest, not a Rift Tour quest, like one of the other epics. But, uh, I didn't want to quit out, so I continued ready to ready up, and the second place I... Well... I don't remember what the other place I went to, but I do remember that I went right over to a gas station, and then went... Yeah, I was like landing somewhere over here just to get that darn thing from the sheriff the, the hologram thing and then I went over here then got killed by an Ariana Grande here I got killed by a Googiemon uh, but let's get into where what how I got this 15 soul match okay first off we went from right here like I was literally trying to find out what to do here I mean I've Gone the Gravitron, gone the tractor emote done. I mean, there was already a tractor within that farmhouse there, so used the Gravitron from the chest and did with just one grab of it and then a little fling, it was there. Then I went to get other weapons and then managed to kill Farmer Hasey, who was actually a Chimera, a one of those Chimera robots. Then I started to go down here from this little patch of corn right here, as well as gain, as gaining wood. I went to this trailer right here. Then, as it was about time to go, I had to get over here, and I was being there were so many. There was like literally, I saw some UFOs, two of them right here, and I had to make crouch until they were gone. Found a truck. Zoomed past Corny Complex and at this theater right here. I mean, I got out a little bit. I was trying because I was trying to get something, and then apparently it was it wasn't worth it because I had to get a shield potion. Well, it was worth it, so I went here, all the way to here. I stopped right here and found a Zig perched upon this, like right somewhere right here. And it was, uh, it was like, right there. I mean, trying to do something like heal or shield himself. Yeah, shield himself. Uh, I used a bolt action sniper rifle, killed him. Then made my way over there, saw a llama corn, and killed him with a heavy assault rifle, a green one. Then took his purple assault rifle, and it was a llama bro, like, that that uh fortnite crew only skin so after that i w ran through right this patch wanted to make sure i was staying alive and i did killed someone w while i was in the storm i mean he started shooting at me but i was in the storm and luckily i was safe using that purple sword rifle. then there was another one but i hid right in here yeah probably right no wait uh, it was a road so yeah right at this house right here used a truck to get away and then discovered right at these two rocks or three was that it was a bright bomber like a corrupted one or a shadow uh managed to kill her luckily and there was only two of us left so I had to shield up, lose the Gravitron or something, like, and had to make sure I was okay. 
Then there was a loot supply drop right here, right at that rock, right there. And I, like, I was, it turns out, it was, if you remember two seasons ago, there were some challenges to get two skins, and that was Snow Mando and the Frost Girl. Well, she wasn't frosty, but she was wearing winter clothing, and, uh... I thought I was a gun I mean, I managed to get a launch pad, but I went through here first, then there, there. Tried to get over there, but there was a storm there, so I didn't want to lose. Apparently, he, she was must have been somewhere around here, because she was apparently... Well, I don't know. Maybe she was over here. Got a real gun, too, from that llama, bro. And then, right over here, when he, she was trying to get to me, I was using my assault rifle, and then, BAM! I won! Woohoo! Rick Sanchez, my 15th solo match winner. And since he's season 7, let's see. Hold on a minute. Okay, uh, here we are. At season 7, right here. Uh, you all remember that in on my other videos, I was pre one of Matches Predator, Aquaman, Batman the Dark Knight version, Z Six, okay, Wolf, Aquaman, Batman, Six, Dizzy, S Sunny. Technically, I was seventh since Suki was really number eight. Ah, and since Suki was number eight, like right, like she was right there. Eight, well, number nine was Lexa. And 10 was Sunny Beachcomber. Just follow the arrows right there and you see. 11, LeBron James, the Toon Squad. Joey, Alien Form. Venom, not Extreme. Rebirth Raven or Original. And now, Rick Sanchez. Just Rick. Not Toxic Rick. No, Rick Sanchez. Uh -uh. So in this case, for Season 7 skin winners, I have Dizzy. Su original Sunny. Suki came from season six, but Sunny Beachcomber. Well, yeah, no, actually, it was Dizzy Sunny. Then it was uh, after D Sunny, it was me. Then it was Sunny again, LeBron, Joey, and now Rick Sanchez. I'll talk to you this about in a layer. I mean, you need to make it up to a playlist to show you so this, so where it is. But for now, uh, let's continue on with the thing. Now let's see. Uh, let's get to the locker. There's some. Apparently, I, you all heard that Wonder Woman was promised to be in season seven, right? Well, guess what? I was right. She was coming, but it was at the end where Superman came. I mean, the missions with Beast Boy, missions with Armored Bat Beast Boy from Weeping Woods, Armored Batman from Dirty Docks, and Superman, or Clark Kent, from The Farm. Like, uh... Wait, did I choose her? Oh, I shuffled. Okay, so... Okay, right here, the orchard is where Superman is. But let's get into where the iron shop is. Yes, Wonder Woman will be coming shortly, but I haven't used anything yet. I mean, if Wonder Woman comes out, then that means other skins will. There's Dude from the Free Guy. I mean, I already collected his emo, just don't want to collect this guy. There's Mom coming to you. I already have a pizza party, but look, Guardians of the Galaxy, it's Gamora. Part, oh, she's part of the Guardians of the Galaxy set. The deadliest woman in the galaxy. A cloak designed for a Zen hubris assassin. I think that's her species. A modular blade. Capable of best, okay, I mean, the God Slayer. A modular blade, capable of besting even, and as, capable of besting and, of besting even an as guardian dang they made that weird and maybe wrong in a little bit and look the god slayer glide board three periods 
Is that an Infinity Stone? Nah, couldn't be. Could be? It looks exactly like the Power Stone. Huh. Thanos and now Gamora have come in. Oh, Star-Lord has come back too. Although this isn't really Star-Lord, it's just Drift. I mean, you can all know that's Drift right there. Do something good, do something... I mean, something bad, a bit of both. Fit for an outlaw. A perfect distraction. Yeah, from the movie. Uh, yeah. Come here, Beth. My daughter. <laughs> then the Milano, guard the galaxy in style. And the Guardian Axe, cut down cosmic threats. Now, a lot of... Whoa, this is so many. I mean, yes, that's right. Cyber Infiltration Pack is back, and all these things are back, too. The Cutting Words, which is based off of Groot, kind of like. Can't get a story without breaking down some walls with Chigusa. Rebel Authority Magumi. And we got... Yuki's Slice and Dice. There's Summer Sky. I was originally planning to try to get that Mecha Cuddle Team Leader, but no, I couldn't get her. So, basically, uh, yeah, I think the season will almost end, but it would be nice if there was a, oh, I don't know, an Arbiter skin? I mean, come on, guys. We see a darn Master Chief with a gravity hammer. You wouldn't see Pup Pelican. Why can't we see a Phantom or a Energy Sword, the Prophet's Bane, or the Arbiter himself in the game? But anyways, it doesn't matter, and I'm happy to say that I got my 15th solo match winner! Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep going doing this, if I can. Gotta keep trying. But for now, I'll see you all in the next video. Mm, bye, and ah, Wubba-lub-dub-dub! -dub.